Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is going to be going over cost. So we are looking at cost of goods, of candles. So if you buy in bulk, which is highly recommended if you are making and selling candles for a business because you wanna get as close to wholesale pricing as possible. Um, that way you can break down um, the candle cost as small as physically possible. So we are going to be looking at in a complete breakdown, I'm going to be going on to one of the candle websites I'm gonna be choosing the flaming candle and just going through and uh, pricing everything and then breaking down the costs and showing you guys exactly how I do that so let's go ahead and get right into the video we are here on the flaming candle website and I went through and I added in everything to make a candle I chose these amber straight-sided nine ounce jars and the golden 464 soy wax. Um, this is just an example. You don't have to go in and order everything that I'm ordering. This is basically to create an example order just to show you how to break down the cost of goods. So I went through and I added in the lids as well as the wicks, um, two pounds of fragrance oil, some wick stickers, and then the warning labels to put at the bottom of your candles. So just going through on here just so you can see. So right here we did 50 pounds of wax and that's $68.99. We have uh, the nine ounce amber straight sided jars. I did a quantity of five. Now what I messed up on my previous video, if you did see that one, um, was I <laughs> didn't realize that a quantity of one wasn't one jar. Um, it was a quantity of 12. So if you go down here, you can see that quantity one is a dozen jars. Um, so that was my mistake in the last video, so I wanted to fix it just to give you a more accurate um, depiction of what a candle will actually cost. So down here it does say that if you buy over 10, so over 10, so basically over 120 jars, um, you pay $6.09 per case. Um, I didn't do that, I just went ahead and did five cases just to be a little bit more realistic with starting out, to start out with 60 jars rather than 120 jars. So going back over here, um, I added on all of these so this one I did a um, quantity of five as well so this one works the same way these ones come in cases of 12 and then I added on 500 wicks so 500 wicks is $42.99 the um, oil I just did the same scent just to make it easy I added on two so um, these are one pound or 16 ounces each so it added together for the two of them $39.98 for the wick stickers, I did a thousand of them, and for a thousand, it's twenty-one dollars and forty-nine cents. And then for the warning labels, I did five hundred warning labels, and that was eight dollars and thirty-nine cents. So total down here for the cost of everything is two hundred and twenty-seven dollars and seventy-four cents. Now going back to or going over to the Word document, um, I went ahead and I inputted all the information. So this is. All of the numbers that I just read off to you guys um, from the website and um, when I inputted my shipping cost um, this is how much it was so to ship to me at sixty seven dollars and thirty three cents so what you would do and this is what I learned from Jeff Stanley on his video is that you would take all of the different categories so like right here I have seven different categories and you would divide the shipping cost and apply that number to all of the different categories so once I applied all of the numbers Numbers. So I would take um, nine dollars and sixty-two cents, and I applied it to everything. These are the new totals, and this is what we are going to be using for our calculations. So moving right along to the breakdown of the cost per candle. When we're looking at the wax, um, we could either do it in ounces or grams. I know that a lot of people um, will do it in ounces, and then other people prefer grams. So I will be breaking it down both ways, but we're gonna start with ounces for now. So with this example, we're gonna be breaking it down for the nine ounce jar that holds seven ounces of wax. So I was able to look at the um, website right here for the jar, and it says holds approximately seven ounces of wax. So that's where we're basing our example off of. So what we're essentially trying to find out is how much does one ounce of wax cost? So with this example, 50 pounds of wax 
um, will cost us $78.61. So we're going to divide 50 by $78.61 to get the price per pound. So it's $1.57 a pound. We know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So we're gonna try to break that down into the price per ounce. So $1.57 divided by 16 is equal to 10 cents an ounce. So that is the cost per ounce. So all we have to do is multiply the amount of weight that we're using and multiply that by the cost per ounce. So it's seven times um, 10 cents, which gives us 70 cents. If we're looking at grams and how to break it down, we're going to be doing the same um, nine ounce jar that holds seven ounces of wax. And seven ounces is equal to 198 grams. So with this example, we're going to be finding out how much one gram of wax cost. So same thing, uh, 50 pounds of wax is equal to $78.61. We're gonna divide that by 50, which gives us that $1.57. And one pound is equal to 454 grams. So that's what we're gonna divide that number by. So we're gonna divide 454 by 157, and that gives us the cost per gram, which is 0 0.0035. So we're going to multiply 198 grams by that number, which is the cost per gram, which gives us 69 cents. So these are off slightly just because grams and ounces, they have their own decimal points. And I did do uh, rounding for this, but essentially it's the exact same number, just a penny off. So for the jars, um, for 60 jars, it will cost um, $41.07. So I just divide 60 by 41.07, and that gives us 68 cents for the jar. For the lids, it is 64.2407, and then we would just divide that to get 40 cents for the lid. Um, the fragrance oil is gonna be similar to how we did the wax, so I'm gonna break it down into ounces and then grams. So for the ounces, um, we're gonna break it down from that nine ounce candle that holds seven ounces of wax at a 10% fragrance load. Um, so that is the example that we're giving. So for the fragrance oil, um, two pounds is $49.60. So we're trying to break that down into just one pound. So we're going to divide two by 49.60 and we're gonna, going to get $24.80 per pound of fragrance oil. So we're gonna break that down even further into ounces. So one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So we're going to divide 16 by 24.80 to get us $1.55 an ounce. Now, the only issue with this is if we try to break this down further, um, we can't really, and that's kind of what I figured out is I was trying to figure out how to break that down, but I was looking it up and ounces is the smallest unit of measure of weight in the imperial system. So what I'm trying to figure out now is if we have 6.36 ounces of wax with zero 0.64 ounces of fragrance oil, which is essentially this example right here broken down into 10% fragrance load. Um, I realize that if we look at it like a percentage, then what we're seeing is we're trying to find out exactly um, if we're using 0.64, so 64% of an ounce, then we would need to find 64% of $1.55. Um, so what I did was I just did the calculations to find the percentage. So I did $1.55 and I multiplied it by 64% and that gave me 99 cents, which is 64% because we're using 64% of an ounce. So with grams, um, it is a little bit easier than trying to find the percentage. So grams, um, we are doing uh, one pound is $24.80 with this equation up here. Um, we know that a pound is equal to 454 grams. So we would just divide 454 by that $24.80. And that gives us an estimated cost of five cents per gram of fragrance oil. So we are using the same equation right here. So this number 6.36 ounces and 180 grams is equivalent as well as 0.64 of an ounce and 18 grams is equivalent. So we would do the same calculations and we would just input that into the formula. We would do the cost per gram multiplied by the amount of grams used of fragrance oil in this equation and we would get a total of 99 cents. So that is equivalent. So for Wix, we did 500 of them for $52.61. So I just divided 55 by 52.61, which gave us 11 cents a Wick. 
And then for Wix stickers, I um, did a thousand of them for $31.11. So I just divided that and then got three cents for the Wix stickers. And then the same thing for the warning labels. So I just divided 500 by 1801 and we get four cents for the warning labels. So another thing I wanted to include in here is actually the product labels. So I'm gonna take you over to online labels and this is where I get all of my labels. I absolutely love it. They give you a design software um, for free for a certain amount of time, depending on how big your order is. And you can go on and have um, kind of free range of a design. Um, and on here, I ordered a um, uh, hundred labels. I just got just picked a random one. So these come ten labels per sheet. Um, depending on the size of the label, you can get more labels per, per sheet. Uh, but I just chose this one. So I, uh, for a hundred sheets, ten labels per sheet. I got a thousand of them um, for forty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Uh, shipping cost is only four dollars and ninety five cents if you choose just the standard shipping method. So it would be a total of $54.90. So I divided that into it and then got five cents per product label. Now we're gonna add up all of the items to see exactly how much this candle costs. So for the wax, it costs us 70 cents. For the jar, it costs us 68 cents. For the lid is 40 cents. The fragrance oil amount at that 10% is gonna cost us 99 cents. The wick is 11 cents. The wick sticker would be three cents. The warning label, four cents. And then the product label is five cents, which gives us a grand total of exactly $3 for this candle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you learned something from this video and that it helped you guys out in your business. That's really what I'm here for, just to give you guys as much knowledge as I can from behind the camera and probably in another state. So if you guys have any further questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love for you guys to subscribe as well as follow me on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.